Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a really cool 1961 Buick Electra hardtop to show you. Uh, this one finished in its original color, which is a turquoise iridescent. And you can kind of see why. I mean, it's, it's really a, a cool, cool color. I don't know if you can see the depth there, but there is some fine metallic in the paint. Paint looks really nice, shines very well. Uh, all the trim on it is present. Got your electric call out there, as you can see. And uh, anytime you had a four venti ports, that's what they were called, venti ports, four of them usually uh, denoted in a more upscale model. If you had a little bit lesser than the upscale model, it wasn't a bad thing or anything, just that they would have had three venti ports. But uh, uh, this particular car, uh, 17 inch Riddler chrome rims with uh, radials all around uh, not front disc brakes but big big Buick drum brakes and they are powered stops the car nicely car goes down the road very nice drives nice this is a cool car I mentioned the text ad you know this is sort of uh, in that mid-century modern era 1961 which uh, you know, it was all of our favorite year. <laughs> yeah, I was born that year. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is uh, real similar in some ways. Uh, you can see a you know a roof line or character line like a '61 Impala. Really. Take in the interior on this side again. All the trim and bright work, excellent. Windows roll up and down. All four roll up and down nicely. Very easy to do. But take a look at how nice and clean this interior is, and the jams and everything. Now, I would like to point out the interior, uh, the upholstery is that of a 63 Impala. Real similar to the Electra, but uh, they chose the 63 Impala style, which is cool. Uh, and this car originally had a bench seat, which I have, and that certainly goes with the car. But in addition to the bucket seats, the owner had this console uh, cut down. It was a Wildcat console, a Buick Wildcat, and had it cut down so that it would fit the Electra, which included the tack that you see down there on the console. And uh, he wanted cup holders, which, of course, we all have to have that now. Original radio, got the pod clock up there. Kind of, you know... In the getting starting to move away a little bit from the space age design of that mid center that we talked about, all the uh, lights work. See little dome lights work in there. Seat belts. Doors close very nicely. Nice even gaps. Kind of a, a bubble top, you know, that we all like in that 1961 era. A few of the 62s had it. But uh, all the trim and bright work is nice on the car. I like this, too. Look at this character line. It, this bumper follows the body of the car. Nice big trunk. Let me show you in the trunk here. this trunk you want to take along an extra pickup or something you just put it in this trunk it's nice and deep now take note of these nice uh, covers here this is covering the spare tire and jack assembly you can see there paint is nice these house the uh, well this car I should probably tell you if you didn't haven't seen the website yet but this car has airbags on it. I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. But these house those mechanisms. Trunk floor, nice and clean. This little carpeted area. They use this spackled paint that kind of matches the car. A little trunk light working up here. You'll be able to see that. Yeah, this is a cool car. And these cars, you know, they, look at that, how easy that closes. Just drives so nicely. Now, uh, I'd like to point out again the website westcoastcollectorcars.com where I've got pictures of the Electra of course 
but uh, pictures of the undercarriage as well. Very clean, very dry under there, there's no rust under there, it's very well taken care of. The car's got 78,000 something or other original miles on it, so it's just, a, it's just been a great car. And talk about fun to drive, just nice easy power steering, which is great. Uh, I, again, I mentioned, you know, the brakes work well, not going to, you know, send you off into the ditch. They just true, nice and true. Excellent. The driver's side here. A couple of things to show you in addition to how nice this is, but take a look at this. This is the dash, the dash here. See this here? You can pivot that, and that was so that in case the lighting was such that you couldn't see it, you had some options to pivot. And then this right here, this dial over here, that's your speed minder, so you set that at, you know, 150 miles an hour or whatever, and if you go over that, it's going to bu buzz you. Horn works, got this nice, deep, new for 1961 steering wheel, the depth on there, and the chrome and bright work is nice. Power brake call out even on the... Uh, on the brake pad. Headliner's nice as you can see and you got your visors here. Package tray's excellent. Again, the doors close nicely. All your felts and so forth for the window and weather stripping is nice. Uh, now the engine that I'm about to show you here is a 401 cubic inch, what they call a nail head, and that was because of the size of the valves, but they are fairly distinctive, <laughs> and you'll see what I mean. Let me open the hood for you here. You got a double latch. So you'll notice how, you know, the valve covers are standing straight up and down, which is a, a characteristic you can immediately see uh, that, and determine that that's a nail head. Now, uh, 400, the 445 Wildcat, uh, that number means that's the torque that it put out, which is considerable. Power brake unit, <clears throat> this is a factory uh, tank uh, to assist the power brakes. This was your little extra carrier washer fluid there. Nice radiator and fan. This is power steering. All your bright work up here, your wiring in there, everything is just clean. Very nice. 100 amp alternator here. You can see how nicely done all this is, your heater assembly and whatnot. Electronic ignition. So uh, the 401 nail head, four barrel, put out 325 horsepower in this year, which is nice. I mean, this is a good, strong engine. Of course, it'd have to be, you know, this is pulling around a good sized car. Uh, but uh, super fun to drive, just runs very nice. Uh, and I'm going to take it for a spin around the parking lot so you can kind of see what it looks like moving under its own power. We'll come back and... Uh, I kind of want to show you those airbags. It's kind of cool.
got a nice new dual exhaust system under here that sounds great, as you heard. Uh, the transmission is the original. It has been rebuilt. Uh, it was called a DynaFlow. That's a two-speed, similar to uh, Chevrolet's Power Glide. But uh, no, it's just a nice, clean, fun car to drive. I love the turquoise. It just fits that era. You know, it's just a little different car than you're going to see. I mean, you don't see these every day, which is nice. You know, it's it's cool to have something uh, unique. Uh, you know, compared to everyone else. But uh, yeah, if uh, if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1961 Buick Electra, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763, and thank you for watching today.